talk about digital reality, there's, there's three main components to it. You might talk about virtual reality, augmented reality, or just enhanced use of mobile devices in the field. And all three of those are important, have different uh, advantages and challenges as well. So the best application for virtual reality in the oil and gas space might be something like training, where it's a single person, you don't need to have any collaboration. Virtual reality could be used to train people on how to maintain a new piece of equipment, for, for example, before they get out into the field. It's really hard to use virtual reality in the oil and gas space in a collaborative environment where you might be able to use some other technologies like enhanced mobile capabilities or augmented reality. If we think about augmented reality for oil and gas, there's a lot of opportunity that we have have to wait for some of the hardware to catch up for, to be um, safe and secure. But this allows us to have connectivity to experts, to collect information, and to have um, information on demand if you're maintaining a piece of equipment, for example, at a chemical plant, power plant, uh, or in the oil field. One of the things that enhanced mobile uh, devices allow folks to do is to be able to have more data on demand in the field with a ruggedized piece of information. And also, um, something that's particularly attractive to employees is the ability to have a virtual rounds or virtual paperwork. So there's no more pink slip sitting in a pickup truck for 30 days before it goes back to the home office, which is really important. So if you think about some of the trade-offs between augmented reality, where you can be wearing a headset and have the um, information presented to you as you need it, and you use your hands to do the work, that's a lot harder when you have a mobile device that you're trying to look at and refer to when you have a tool in your hand. So that's one of the things that we help our, our clients navigate through, and it's really a different solution for each of our clients uh, in terms of what they're trying to get done. What's the type of work that they're trying to get done? Is it more a connectivity? Is it training? Is it being able to provide additional information to a younger workforce that may um, be just entering the, the field of maintenance and may not know how to do all the tasks that um, others have been able to do? Is it being able to do the work remotely or offshore and have um, a remote operating center that you can connect to and have information provided by that person or verified by that person? Or is it being able to enhance and validate or quality assure particular tasks? For example, if you're welding a pipeline and you would like a, a tool to tell you that the weld is the right uh, temperature and that in fact it is uh, of, the, of the proper quality. So you can use tools to do that as well. But again, they all have trade-offs.